you already know all things sports and entertainment and we can completely disagree but let's get this conversation started so as we know Bronny had his first i guess full week uh preseason i know that nba starts what this week or next week for the first full game Bronny's been mostly time on the bench but of course jj reddick's trying to get him in as a rotational development player but you know brownie has been struggling i mean the young man he's been struggling i think he scored what maybe two points the last several games but um charles barkley actually had something to say prior to all of this but when it comes to Bronny, he says Bronny is quote not a finished product i'm glad he's just healthy we're rooting for him because we have so much respect for lebron it's not going to be easy because he has a target on his on his back because of his last name there's going to be a certain amount of, of petty jealousy of people who don't des who like you don't deserve to be in the nba you're not as good as some of these players you only got in because of your dad i'm really looking forward to you you know they've got to handle things with kid gloves literally because they just can't put him out there because he's not a finished product yet but man it's a great story i think we saw the griffies play in baseball but i can't think of any other father any anybody else where the father son played a sport together not in this way. Of course, Bronny was selected number 55 overall. Now, I do have this to say, right? Um, I've had people come on and say I hate Bronny, and no, I don't. I understand he's a 55th overall pick. I get all of that. But Bronny has a target on his back, not just because his last name, but because of what his father said. His father, his father said, Bronny is a very likable person. He's a very respectable person. You can tell that LeBron raised him right as far as teaching him how to, you know, how, how a young man should be. The problem is, when you come out and say, I'm going to keep saying this, Bronny's better than half the league right now. When I'm, I'm, I'm watching league pass, you know, um, you know, Bro Bronny earned it. JJ Reddy, come on and say, Bronny earned it and all that. Oh, listen, we all know what, what we're seeing, regardless of whether or not his son is a professional because LeBron made the call or because he earned it, he's going to have his target on his back. And shout out to Two Raw. I remember this. Remember Lonzo Ball? Y'all was getting on Lonzo Ball about that. Y'all was getting on Austin Rivers about that. And Austin Rivers was what? The number one, number two player in the country at the time when he was coming out and actually had a solid NBA career. Same thing with Lonzo Ball until his knee, his knees or whatever uh, stopped on him. Hopefully he back this year for the Bulls, but same thing with Lonzo. Remember Lonzo had it tough that first year, even that second year. Then he got traded to, to um, the Pelicans. And then he went, by the time he got to the Bulls, he, you can finally tell he finally found his spot. So people got to understand that, man. When you have a name like that and then you only score, what, four points in college and you wasn't the best player even on your team, we can understand. Now, let's say he scored four points, but he only played five games because he was hurt. But when he got the ball and at USC and he was clearly the best player on the court, people would treat it totally different. But, I mean, he he looked like, even in high school, his senior year, Brian, he didn't he didn't look like he was the best player on the team then. And he didn't like he was the best player on his team in college. So for him to get drafted by an historical franchise as the Lakers, it ain't like he got drafted by, uh, I don't know, the Toronto Raptors or some other team where it's like, okay, cool. You drafted by one of the biggest, one of the biggest big market teams out there besides what, New York, Chicago, Miami, et cetera. You got, y'all got to understand that, man. Bronny was basically thrown to the complete wolves. And it's like he and you could tell, like I said, he's not a finished product. Now, at Bronny spin this year in the G League, you know, the developing skills, cool, cool. But if y'all keep putting him out there on the NBA court, I mean, it's obvious, you know. And like I said, it's so many other players that never even got this chance. And it's kind of also it's kind of hard for somebody to feel sorry for the young man when he's making millions of dollars years to play a sport that he supposedly loved. You know, if if yo if you're out there playing like garbage at this moment just go out there and play better this is literally your full-time job this is something that people would um they would trade it all for to this day just to get a shot you know what i mean but, but forget the money just the opportunity people some people gotta get up and go work at a cubicle or go work for somebody that they don't like you get to play for the los angeles lakers so people are not going to handle him with kid gloves so yes he already had a target on his back but when lebron said what he said and other people and you know, it was so obvious that they told nobody, look, don't draft Bronny, the other teams. You know, then they said he, it was earned. And y'all got to understand, man, y'all can't do something like this and then act like we don't see what we're seeing. But, you know, but like I said, I hope Bronny has, has a has a career. Hopefully it's, it's at least 10 plus years. And, you know, if this is what he want to do, I wish him nothing but the best. But like Charles Barkley said, he's not a finished product yet. Just not yet. Maybe in three, four years. You know, like I said, if Bronny would have played three years at USC, 
You never know. Like Dame, Dame Lillard was a four time, uh, a four year college player. Michael Jordan was a three year college player. Charles Barkley was what a three year college player. It takes time. John ja Morant played two years. Imagine Bronny playing at USC right now. That'd have been John ja Morant. That's what John ja Morant. Remember when his first year? Then he came back. Uh, at, uh, what was that school he was at? Murray State, and it boosted his uh his stock. So. You know, y'all got to understand that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. Share the video, man. We on our road to a 1,000 subscribers. But let me know what y'all think.